Okay, we know where that fish is rising. It's almost straight across from me, a little bit downstream, I believe. But we're gonna take our time wading into position. One of my mentors used to tell me, a fish dines best when he thinks he's dining alone. And there he goes, the fish just rose real nice, took a top water. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our time slowly. We don't wanna send too many waves across there. I like to say, when you're waiting, you shouldn't make any more waves on the water than what a duck or a goose or maybe a beaver or a muskrat would make. We're gonna take a nice slow creep over there. As you're going over there, you can start to stretch your line out. I got his range here. I definitely have enough line, so I'm going to stop here. You want to cast at least three feet or more above him. Give him a nice long look. And then once it passes him, let it go five, six, ten feet before you pick it off the water. Got him. He followed that fly probably 15 feet before he took it. That's another reason not to just rip it up once it gets past where you saw him rise. Oh, he's off. Came off. That happens sometimes. But we got him. Here's a nice upstream reach. I only saw the one fish rise here, so I'm going to walk down slowly and watch that bank the whole way down. Down at the end there, right before it hits the ripples, there's always fish rising at that leaning over tree and just above it. I'm going to watch there especially. Alright, before I even had a chance to uh, leave, he started rising again. He's right there. He's just five feet below the brush that's laying on the water. I'm going to sneak out there slowly once again and see what I could do with him a second time. I also saw another rise a little bit up higher. This is a different one, this was a higher fish. We took that GSS emerger. Good fish, we we'll try to get him on the reel here. Just as I was going to cast, the top one came up, so I dropped it over him. GSS emerger with a gusto. 
Let's go up to the next county now. Here's that palm and rim. It's all the way over the other side once again. Feel them starting to head shake, let them go. Got a lot of room here, there's nothing in my way. There's no obstacles. The only obstacle is my tripod at this point. I gotta catch up to them. Swimming right up, swimming right up, swimming right up. Get some fast reel in here. There he is, he's right here now. I think he's about ready. My leader's in my eyes. I think he's ready. Bring him to the top. Go ahead, take your last couple of... And he's off. Put too much pressure on him. That was a nice fish, that was a 20 inch class. I'm going to change my GSS emerger though. Alright, I had a, saw a trout rising right around in there. Not close to the bank, but a little bit further out. But he was definitely taking a caddis pupa. You'll see, it looks like a toilet flush. That's how big of a swirl they make at those caddis right at the surface. There goes another one down below. I'm going to try this one first. And chances are he's going to take that GSS emerger. This is the perfect situation for using the GSS emerger. Put that men in there. And he took. He took the knot. Pretty sure he took the knot. Right up by me, close my legs. Nice green back. That was coming. Keep the tension on him. It's caught right in the tip of the mouth. It's a good fish. There we go. That's good 18 to 19 inches. It's 19 probably. And away he goes. All right, I, I have just the GSS on. And what I did is I put floating on the leader, starting about six inches from the fly. Crease it up real good, and this will keep the GSS emerger closer to the surface when it's the only fly on there. I was working these fish for quite a while, I finally got them on a GSS by itself. I don't think this is a big fish. It might be, but... Wants to go down the other county. Took about a half hour for these fish to finally get a hit. There's four or five of them in here. Yeah, I can feed it right in there. Keep it close to the top. 
The other one's still rising there. This guy's fighting right there and just, the other fish is rising. Here we are, I got him in front of me. Scoop him up. He's a nice fish. Beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. That beautiful copper red on them. He's close to 20 inches. He's 20. Beautiful colors. Beautiful red tail. Whoa. That's a male. And away he goes.